today we're gonna be talking about um, tag six which we are going to check on if else statement loops and functions so um, we are gonna check some stuff yeah, I think we're in the right place so uh, I'm going to read um, what we are asked to do so we know what to do uh, when we start coding so um, task 6 is talking about inventing is a combination of brains and materials the more brain you use the less material you need yeah so um depend on how the skills you have apply uh you don't need much material so just like for instance um um working on a project uh like that so um maybe let me say for instance uh um i'm developing a project like a website then um I want to get materials that I'm going to be using apart from my editor and my server where I'm going to run. There are other things I can, I might want to import from, I might want to go online to check some things if I don't know them. Uh, but when the brain is there, uh, I can do them on my own. There are some um, plugins that I can import to use uh, to perform one or two functions. but. Uh, there are some that I can go and make payments for. Uh, for instance, people go and buy um, templates for them to build on. Uh, but when you are very good enough, you build those from scratch yourself and also use the opportunity to learn. So, write a program that prints all possible different combinations of two digits. So, um, in this case, we are combining two digits together, or like different digits, but kind of combining them together in all possible ways. Uh, number must be separated by a comma. So each combination should be separated by a comma, followed by a space. The two digits must be different. So every combination we are doing must be different. So let us look at this. Like we have 0 and 1, 0 and 2, 0 and 3, 0 and 4, 0 and 5, 0 and 6, 0 and 7, 0 and 8, 0 and 9. We don't have 1 and 0, which is 10. Because 1 and 0 is still the same thing as 0 and, zero and 1. We have 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 1 and 4, 1 and 5, 1 and 6, 1 and 7, 1 and 8, 1 and 9. Um, we don't have 2, 0. Because two zero is the same thing as zero two, and we should not have three zero because three zero is the same thing as um, um, zero three. So just like that. So the number should be printed in ascending order. Good, starting from zero upward. Um, the last number should be followed by a new line. So the last number, which is eight nine should be followed by a new line so that is how it goes we're not allowed to store numbers using string in a variable so we're not storing anything you are not using making use of a string we're not allowed to import any modules so we are not importing any modules in these so we are just going to go ahead and start coding right away so um i'll just copy this uh for the sake of time because I do more of explaining and it takes much time like that see so now that I'm done with the talk then we can go ahead and start coding so uh, I can cd to the environment we have accepted so that's desktop lx10 dash uh, like that 
cd zero x zero one good so if we check what we have here we have zero to five so we are creating the six one so i will say vi and i'm going to paste what we have there so now we have our terminal open so without wasting much time i'm going to put ash exclamation mark for slash usr then vin then light on three so just like that so the first thing we know that in keeping numbers as we all know it has to do with a loop which is um looping through numbers so we are going to be looping through numbers so i'll be looping from zero to i think the first one starts with zero 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 and ends with nine if i'm not mistaken so i'll go and confirm that again to see okay it starts with zero and ends with eight so uh let let me let me do start my looping and see how i can do that four then i can put um x for the first one in then my range so um, i can go ahead and put zero because we are starting from zero and um, let me put uh, i think eight right let me put it nine good so i think this is going to look from zero to eight if i'm not mistaken uh so i'm going to print some stuff there on the screen so like this let me see what our outcome is going to be so going to clear my screen search mode u plus x then uh, six right okay so i'm going to run that to see what we got okay so we have from zero one two three four five six seven and eight good that's for the first part of it now i will go ahead and add the second loop mm. i want another four loop So I'll just copy this. Sorry. like this so in this case i'm going to put y here like that then in this one i'm going to put 10 so to see what we got there so if i come in here uh, remove the add another tab here so in this case I'm going to just change some things here so just put that for, because I want to insert two values so this is the first one um, uh, the second one 
So, um, I'm going to use a format string. So, in this first one, I'm going to be putting x, comma, y, just like that. Good. So, let me run that and see what my outcome is going to give me. Okay, so I'm um, having some combinations here. We have zero one, uh, zero, zero, zero. Well, actually, let me see that one. Do we started from zero zero? Oh, we don't start from zero zero. We start from zero one. So, uh, let me rectify that. So I'll come over to this place and put one there, one there, like that. Uh -huh. So uh, let's see what we got there. We have 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06. 0, 07, 0, 08, 0, 09. We now have 1 and 0. We have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There is no 20. We have 21. Yeah, good. 21 and so on. So I think we stop at 8, 9, which is very good. Now, um, the next thing is to arrange it to the format like this format we have here. So, um, to arrange it in that format, we need to go on here and add the end. END equals to So I will just put a comma there and okay. So um let me see what we got here. Um, zero one to zero eight comma let me see how their own look like zero one to zero Okay. So we have zero nine here. We have uh we don't have one one here. We have twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We don't have two numbers uh, on our own. 11, there's no 11, there's no 12, there's no 13, and there is no 14. But in our case, we have 12 and we have 22. So we, we are going to write other stuff to, to check for that. So, um, we'll go back to where we are writing our code. So, I'm going to use an if statement. So, now, I'm going to say if, um, 
I'm still thinking of how I'm going to put that if statement. Okay, so if x is not equals to y, yeah. So let me put it that way. If x is not uh, equals to y, So let me see that if that works. Okay. So let me see if this okay. Zero nine. Okay. After eight, we have zero nine. No ten. No eleven. We have twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay. Um. I think we have another issue here. We have um, one, two, and two, one. But let me go ahead and read the instruction again to see if there is any other um, restriction given to us for the number of if statements we are going to be making use of. So I, I can use it to restrict uh, some stuff there. So, so. Uh, um, this was prohibited. Print only the smallest combination of two digits. Number should be printed as sending the last. Okay, you can only make use. You can only use no more than three print. Okay, you can only use two loop. So we can use up to three um, if and else statement. We have zero one, we have zero two, zero three, zero four, zero five, zero six, zero seven, zero eight, zero nine, zero ten, no eleven. We have twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, no twenty, no twenty one, no twenty one, no twenty two. Uh, okay, so um, I think we are having, um, let me see how the loop goes from zero, 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 eight, zero, nine, then we now have one, Starting from two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six, one, seven, one, eight, one, nine. We stop there. We have two. We have two, three. So I think it. After each uh, 
running it subtract itself by 1 the next one where it's going to be 3 it's going to be starting from 4 okay so maybe um at every step i be subtracting one from the second digit so let me see i'm gonna go about that um <clears throat> now let me explain how this works so the first for loop starts from zero to nine and it keeps on looping now Whatever that is inside the other loop must run till the end before it come back to it come back and run this particular one. So if this count one, for instance, this first loop counts x is one in this first loop. This second loop must count till the end. It must start from whether 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, till it reach the last range before it runs whatever is inside, then come back again to run this particular loop here. Yeah. You can see how it works. So whatever inside must run complete before it come back to this first one and execute it again. So now the, the issue we have to solve here is we, we are going to look for a way we can be we can use to subtract we can use to subtract from the uh, value of y uh, so now for me to be able to do that is Okay, let me try to put it here. Um, let me put minus, sorry. So let me try something like this. Or or instead of that, let me put it here. So let me see if that works. So we have eight. Uh, I think my zero nine have escaped. What of if I put it somewhere here? Uh, let me call it here. So when it won, it's going to loop through everything. So just wait for me to think. So, um, 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 what I'm going to do here is. Now we come somewhere here. Okay, even uh, instead of contradicting that, what if I change this to a 10? Uh, 
then let's run that and see what our outcome is gonna be so we have to 98 okay we have it to 98 so okay let's assume that this is fine now let's look at this you see nine the first value is greater than one 92 is greater than 2, 93 is greater than 3, 9 is greater than 4, 9 is greater than 5. And all those values that are repeating themselves are greater than. Like 2 is greater than 1, which is the same thing as 12. Um, 31 is greater than, 3 is greater than 1, which is the same thing as 13. We have here, now is this number here is repeating itself here so they are kind of the same so um the way we can solve that problem is using the greater than symbol to solve that issue so uh, i will i will go and write an if statement so instead i'll get rid of this instead of comparing them not equals to So I'm going to put something like this. If x is greater than, because x was what, what is coming first, if x is greater than, y, Then I'm going to put a break statement there. If I put a break like this, it's going to stop there. So instead, I'm going to put continue. Continue is going to skip. Uh, I'm just trying to remember how to spell continue. C O N. think that's what I need good so when it's highlighted you know that it's correct so continue then all those codes that are having this thing so I'm just gonna put else else Else, I want this other part of the code to run. So let's see what we have there. Okay. Okay, now 99.2 is part of it. 11.2 uh, is part of it. And we don't want those to be there. So instead of putting less than, let us put equals to and less than and see if that's solve the case so i'm um, opening it then less than equals to less than equals to y okay i think we are becoming better now we have 0 1 comma 0 2 0 3 0 4 0 5 0 6 0 7 0 8 0 9 no 10 no 11 we have 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 no 20, no 22, no 21, yeah. So this is the combination. So I uh, remember one part to add, which is this part, the comma here, and the, this thing. So we need to rectify this. This is the last thing. 
should be followed by a new line and not uh, a comma and a space. So I'm going to write an if statement to solve that right away. So I'll come here like this. Then I'm going to put L if like that. That is else if L if. So else if um if x is equals to eight not assigning, so I need to add another equal sign and y is equals to 9 so I'm going to put another print statement like that so this print statement uh, I'll just print it at the the new line comes automatically like this so dot format format string then come in between and put my x comma and y so i don't need to add any other thing because the new string comes except i add n like this that is when you see um comma and whatever you see space but this it comes with a new string by default or a new line by default so i'll just do that like that and so you can see that um, 0 1 comma space 0 2 we ask to add a space okay so i'm not sure so you can go and make changes to it and get the outcome you want please if you have been with me this far please make sure you like subscribe and share so uh, this is how you you solve problem uh you you need to think you don't just uh assume you get it like that you you need to put your initiative your memory mind to everything uh, try to see problems and look for solutions to it so i think that's one of the thing that makes this video uh, long please make sure you uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and uh, share and god bless you